This video will cover the crankshaft position sensor, including error codes, use of the FI Diag tool, and provide tips for troubleshooting failures and running performance problems that might not trigger an error code. The crankshaft position sensor is basically a coil of wire wrapped around a permanent magnet, mounted very close to these projections on the circumference of the flywheel, called reluctors. The magnetic field surrounds the coil. As the flywheel rotates, the reluctors interrupt this magnetic field, and the fluctuating field induces an AC voltage output. There are 23 reluctors on the MXV rotor, spaced at 15 degree increments, with one missing here. The ECU counts the AC cycles each second to determine engine RPM. The missing reluctor will not induce voltage, so the ECU can then determine exact position of the crankshaft by this gap in the AC waveform. The crankshaft position sensor has two error codes, P0336, noisy signal, or P0337, no signal. The ECU counts the number of AC cycles per second, spaced by this missing cycle, to determine engine RPM and crankshaft position. If the ECU misses counting 30 AC cycles, it will trigger P0336. Now, miscounting usually means the AC voltage peak of some of the sine waves dropped below a certain point. This can be caused by the engine RPM fluctuating a great deal, the engine is hunting or surging due to an engine misfire, either ignition or fuel related, or the engine is going lean for some reason. The most common cause is running out of gas. If the ECU gets no AC voltage from the crankshaft position sensor during cranking, it will trigger P0337. Now the self-diagnostic system for the crankshaft position sensor has different logic from the other sensors because the sensor produces voltage, AC voltage, as the engine is running. If the crank position sensor fails or one of the wires is broken, the ECU will turn on the malfunction indicator lamp while cranking and display error code P0337. When the ECU powers down, error code 337 will automatically move from current to history, even if the problem is not fixed. You can check the AC output from the crankshaft position sensor at the ECU multi-connector. Back probe to the orange and yellow wires with your peak reading voltmeter or adapter. Now you'll see some voltage with a standard volt ohm meter set to AC, but it will be lower than the actual output because the peaks are so short in duration. So a standard volt ohm meter really won't work. It must be a peak reading voltmeter or a peak reading adapter for your voltmeter. Peak reading adapters for your volt ohm meter are pretty inexpensive and can be used to test not only the crankshaft position sensor, but the primary windings on ignition coils, the fuel injectors, and charging systems. For a no-start problem, you should get around 10 volts AC during cranking. Be sure the battery is fully charged. At idle, you should get around 25 volts and going up to over 50 volts at full throttle. The air gap between the rotor and the sensor is very critical. If the gap is too large, the AC voltage output will be reduced, possibly causing hard starting issues. Sometimes you'll hear it backfire. Also, the voltage level could fluctuate too much at higher engine speeds. Excessive air gap can cause the P0336 noisy signal error code. Also, if you replace or need to remove and reinstall a crank position sensor, make sure it's mounted right side up. If it is mounted upside down, the voltage output is reduced and can cause engine backfiring and error code P0336. The air gap spec is 20 to 60 thousandths of an inch. The best setting seems to be about 30 to 40 thousandths. Be sure to watch all the other fuel injection system videos and pull them up on your smartphone whenever needed. Thanks for watching.